Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from TNC Toy Tractors. Today I have for you the 2022 National Farm Show 4840 Massey Ferguson Full Wheel Drive Tractor. Uh, I got this from my friend Kevin Tolka in Oden, Illinois at his store whenever he had uh, a Black Friday sale going on this past Friday. So these are going for about $35 to $40, and they had just came out. Um, pretty neat tractor. They uh, release one of these every year. Um, pretty excited about this one. These Masseys are pretty neat tractors. So, um, A little bit about the Massey Ferguson 4840. It was built from 1978 to 1983. Had an original price in 1983 of $98,000. Is powered by a 14.8 liter, 903 cubic inch V8 Cummins engine, V903 eight cylinder liquid cooled diesel engine. Has a 265 engine horsepower rating. Was claimed to have 170 drawbar horsepower. Claimed to have 211 PTO horsepower was tested at 179 draw bar horsepower and tested at 210 PTO horsepower. Has an 18 speed partial power shift transmission, 190 gallon diesel fuel tank and 1000 RPM PTO. I tried to find how many of these were built exactly. I know the numbers are out there. I just couldn't find it. Um, that's some information I like to know on, especially a lot of these older tractors, you know, just how many of them were built, you know. So, uh, nice normal box. These boxes all look the same. You got Farmer John there, but, uh, always pretty neat how they stage these little cartoon photos and stuff. So, we'll get it out here, we'll go over it, and I'll give my thoughts and opinions. All right, everyone, here's the Massey Ferguson 4840, and I will start off by saying that I'm actually pretty impressed by this. Um, this might be their best one that they've done yet. Um, maybe only, I don't know if the 8960, maybe it was this good, but it is pretty nice. This is a very nice tractor. Nice, bright, Massey Ferguson paint. Maybe off just a shade. I'm not 100% sure. I always thought Massey paint was just a hair bit brighter than this. Um, not 100% sure. But what's really neat is, like, you got these lights back here, and they're not just a decal or just stamped on there. As you can see, they're actually on their own pedestals there. Very cool touch, I will say. Then you got your flashers up here on the cab. You actually have a three-point hitch with a third link. Nice, cool uh, detail here on the wheels. Nice decals, very nice decals. And I'm happy to see that they actually put mirrors on it. Little detail that seems to get away. Um, my intake, I don't know what it, kind of a mushroom in here, the way it's kind of bent around and stuff, but a little bit of heat from like a hair dryer or something, and you hold that in place, and that, that'll be, uh, fixed. The, uh, exhaust here, you can see, you know, typical stuff as far as the intake and exhaust go, and then you can see the big V8 engine there. See the exhaust that runs up. And then you got your forward facing lights here. And you got your lights there in the grill. Very nice emblem there. Um, some detail underneath. This would be basically your oil pan here. And I would say this screw comes to where you can maybe pop this whole uh, hood piece off and if that's the case that this might open itself up for some real cool customizing 
And if I'm a betting man, Jason Sherman might already be on working on this. Uh, nice that you actually have a grab rail there for getting up into the tractor. Nice, crisp, clear decals here on the back of the cab. Um, realistic, well, I call them implement lights back here on the rear fenders facing back. You have your realistic hitch here, drawbar hitch. Um, realistic steering wheel, you actually get that. Nice little uh, red detail there on the seat. You can actually see what I believe to be a brake and clutch pedal there, maybe. But outside of that, not a whole lot of detail on the inside. Very cool tractor, though. Um, nice detail here on the steps to get up into the tractor. You got your decal there. Your warning decal. So you don't get pinched in between there if you're in there working or something. I like that they've actually put these, uh, I call them like hydraulic actuators on here. It makes it, you know, just gives it a nice little detail. This is a very, very nice tractor. And definitely worth the $35, $40 that these are going for. I wouldn't doubt these might even go up after a few years because um, it's such a nice model. Very nice. I like how everything looks pretty well spot on. You know, and you might be able to even dress these up a little bit nicer, maybe with a put some more realistic wheels and tires on here. You know, detail it up and put it on your model farm. Look great, look great setting on any shelf for a collection. I know I'm really happy to have this. So, um, you got your normal stuff here on the underneath. very nice tractor i will i must say so but that's all i have for you today i hope you've enjoyed watching hope you come back and see us i know we are really cruising with subscribers hopefully by this time we're a little bit closer to 400 but we're i know we're definitely getting there so but I, again i hope you've enjoyed watching please come back and see us again as always keep your furrows straight and have a good day